Okay, wait, we just wrote everything on? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's so foggy outside. It's like Hogwarts. Seriously. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> you're out of it. That's what I look like today. What's up? So, I just got out of my English class, or not English class, my rec class. I just, I don't know why I keep wanting to call it English. English is what I have next. Um, yeah, I had my rec class, business and technical writing and all that jazz. And we're doing a new group project. Um, I think I recorded a clip and like we were just getting into our groups. Uh, I just lost the page I was going to... Reference. Okay, so um, we're doing another group project and we're supposed to like, it's like we're a startup company and we're supposed to be um, choosing like a different country that we want to do business with. And so our project is we have to do research on the country that we want to do business with and like figure out things that would help us um, like better market our product there. So like, um, Okay, so my group decided that we're going to be an ice cream sandwich company. And so we had to come up with, like, the name and stuff, and I came up with a name, Noms. Like, I don't know, I thought it was really cool. Or just, like, what's something simple that, like, even if you don't speak the language, it's really easy to just, like, say. And then someone just said something that, like, ice cream, and I was just like, that's so boring. I was like, Noms. And they're like, oh, yeah, we like that. So I'm just like, and I'm pretty sure hashtags are, like, a universal thing now, like a global thing. So like if it's just like hashtag noms on the packaging or whatever, it'd just be like really simple and trendy and clever or whatever. So like, yeah, that's the name of our company. Um, we're an ice cream sandwich company and we're marketing to South Korea. Um, so yeah, we have to do a report that like breaks down um, where we're gonna research like the food culture of South Korea and like um, their etiquette and mannerisms. Um, find out like how health conscious they are, um, popular marketing outlets there, and like um, if they have like a design preference, um, and like their reception of foreign products, like things that are already successful from the U.S., like McDonald's or whatever, like how they receive it there, and if they prefer things packaged, or if they like having like the ice cream sandwiches made like in a shop for them and like the politics of the US and South Korea and how that would affect business and like if they're into trends I think our like target demographic is going to be like the 15 and up like range and we're probably it seems like we're going to go with the shop and like because um it's like a good after school hangout and there's like free wi-fi and it's a good place to study and just hang out with your friends so yeah, that's all of the ideas we've got so far. Like, we spent, like, maybe 45 minutes just, like, reading the um, itinerary and, like, discussing our ideas because we have to do a 15-page report. So it's a little more, um, yeah, more pages than we had to last time. And, oh, God, this is a long video, and it's just me explaining a project, too. That's got to be so boring. Um... So yeah, so that's what I'm doing for that, and I have, like, an, so that's one group project. Uh, it's not due till, like, the 11th or something, but, like, we have to keep making progress every class, and, like, we have to send progress reports to our professor. So that's for RET. And then in English, I have a group um, project slash presentation that's due on Friday, and it's on the book here. It's on that book, Sula, which I haven't read yet, and... It doesn't seem like anybody in my group is going to read it because, um, I don't know, just because we're supposed to present on Friday and it hasn't even been an assigned reading yet and it doesn't seem particularly interesting, um, but we broke it down into like, oh, this is going to take forever to upload because I keep talking. Um, we, but anyway, yeah, we broke it down into like four categories because there's four of us and we have to do like, it, like it's required to do like a presentation and it, we have to do like five slides each. So like one of the girls in our group is going to write about, um, she's gonna like cover the author and the author's history. And then like another person in our group is gonna cover like the historical context of 
or like the era that that book was written in. So it was like the end of um, the Great Depression and like World War II and whatever. And then um, I'm covering womanism because that's kind of like what that book focuses a lot on, um, it, which is kind of like feminism, but apparently it's for like the African-American woman or whatever, whatever. Um, and then like the other girl is going to cover slavery in the 1930s because apparently it was still around and I feel like it's getting foggier. Um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And we also have to have like a group or like we have to somehow like get the class interacting or whatever. So I think we're gonna ask a couple of questions, like yes, no questions or whatever in the beginning of our presentation. And then after the presentation, like people have to raise their hands according to like what answer they wrote down and then we'll let them know what the actual answers are. So that's on Friday and I haven't even begun that. Um, I'm probably gonna do that either today or tomorrow. I don't know, it's no biggie. Like five slides, it's gonna be a piece of cake. Um, yeah, and um, I don't know, there's nothing super exciting for me to talk about. I am going to go to the weight room today with my other classmate and then go to Zumba and then go to my macro class. And yeah, I think that's all I have today. So I'll probably end up either doing homework or writing. I really want to write though, because I, I haven't been able to, because I've always been like either studying or doing homework. So I want to do that. Um, I'm supposed to come up with a question for you. So I think I'm going to stop and then I'll tack on a question later. Okay, so I don't know why I didn't ask this already, but it seems like a pretty easy to think of question now that I thought of it. Um, what's the first place that you want to travel to together? Because that's going to be a thing. And yeah, I want to know where you want to travel first. Okay, that's your question. Um, and I haven't figured out my answer yet, but... Yeah, I want to know where you want to travel first. Okay. All right. I love you. I miss you. And I'll see you eventually. I love you.